Hey everybody, welcome back to the News Desk here on INeedComics.com, part of the Pop Culture Network. If you're listening real close, you can probably hear, throat's a little sore, sinus is stuffed up, but you know, it's not keeping me down. It's, it's as they say, whatever doesn't kill you just makes you really miserable for a while. <clears throat> Let's talk about some of the comic book news. First up, those of you looking forward to free comic book day, there's another book that apparently has dropped off the list. Now, Antarctic Press before had announced Diary of a Zombie Kid, and they backed off of that one because of copyright uh, complaints from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. But now it looks like the book from Radical, the Under the Fairy Moon book coming out for Free Comic Book Day, has also been dropped. It was from the co-writer of Pirates of the Caribbean and Shrek, and no official word has come down from Radical as of yet, uh, but the book has disappeared from links on the uh, Free Comic Book Day website, so it does appear to be gone. Up next, IDW leaked out some information to Bleeding Cool this week that Doctor Who and Star Trek The Next Generation are getting a comic book crossover. Now, there's been no word yet of uh, exactly how many issues. We do know it starts in May, and IDW will be attending a convention this week called the uh, Gallifrey One. Uh, no idea what that's about. Apparently, it's a sci-fi convention, and people are expecting there we will get some more details about Doctor Who and Star Trek The Next Generation. But it is official, and the artwork has been leaked. Now, talking about upcoming comics, we also got from DC uh, artwork from World's Finest Number 1. Now, this is a book that centers around Power Girl and Huntress, and apparently in this version of the book, Power Girl is actually Supergirl from Earth 2, Huntress is actually Robin from Earth 2, uh, it appears, and coming into the universe of Earth 1, they have switched now to Power Girl and Huntress, and they're trying to find their way back. Uh, 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 the big news, though, that's got everybody just kind of flustered is that Power Girl is actually getting a new suit and it's covering up her, her breastesses' hole. Uh, the other big thing, of course, is that artwork came out showing uh, the Justice Society of Earth 2, which appears to be Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. However, there is speculation that this is going to be uh, Dick Grayson, Connor Kent, and Donna Troy of the Earth 2 world in the roles of those iconic characters. So it looks as if the Earth 2 world is basically going to be the younger generation in their role as the uh, set superheroes, which is a little awkward uh, considering that they just relaunched the DC Universe and um, all the heroes are basically young anyway, but regardless. One last piece of news here is that Tony Moore, the artist on the initial arc of The Walking Dead, is suing Robert Kirkman. Now, of course, he claims two things here. One is that Kirkman tricked him into signing over uh, certain control rights to The Walking Dead to Kirkman when Kirkman was working out the TV deal. And he says that wasn't really uh, fair. He's trying to get a judge to take a second look, uh, saying that maybe uh, somehow he was tricked. Uh, but the other big claim that he makes here is that he... Uh, he is supposed to be getting, you know, revenue uh, from The Walking Dead. He claims he's not getting paid from uh, The Walking Dead TV show. He says he uh, has not received any profit statements, uh, which he's entitled to get. Because if you get a percentage of how much it makes, they're supposed to release to you what it's actually making, so you know what your percent is supposed to be. So, Robert Kirkman, of course, says it's false, says he has gotten paid for it. No word yet, though, on why he's not releasing the profit statements to him. Maybe that's just an oversight on his part, but we'll just have to wait and see how all of that plays out. All right, that's going to do it for the news for right now. Let's take a look at some of the books that are coming out today. Coming out this week, we've got two Spider-Man books, Amazing and Avenging. Speaking of Avenging, there's two Avengers books out this week, Avengers and New Avengers. And if that's not enough Avengers for all of you, several Avengers are appearing in other books popping up this week, including Winter Soldier, Invincible Spider-Man, and Fear Itself the Fearless. X-Men fans are getting X-Factor, Wolverine, Ultimate Comics X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, and Generation Hope. So hopefully there's enough for all of you guys. Batman fans can pick up the latest issue by itself or in a combo pack, including a digital download code for Comixology. And if getting Batman on two formats isn't enough for you, there's enough Bat books to go around as well. Catwoman, Birds of Prey, Red Hood, and Nightwing are all out this week. 
DC's other heavy hitters this week include Blue Beetle, Green Lantern Corps, Supergirl, and Wonder Woman, rounding out the rest of the top names from DC. Over on the Image side, we've got the Walking Dead Survivor's Guide trade coming out, as well as the new hit title, The Activity. And one of the few times you may ever see John Lennon and Mitt Romney together, Blue Water this week, releasing biographies of both. Over at Dark Horse, they've got Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi, which will give you some of the best background on the Jedi, as well as the new BPRD Hell on Earth. Over at Dynamite, they've got Army of Darkness, and of course it's from Dynamite, so there's a thousand different covers to collect. And IDW has a thousand different fun license titles, including the Star Trek Legion of Superheroes crossover, the newest issue of Ghostbusters, and two Transformers titles, the Infestation 2 tie-in and the More Than Meets the Eye series. There's lots of other great comics coming out this week. Make sure to check shoppcn.com for your favorites. <laughs> 